Hi Capricorn, this is your January 31st or February 6th weekly tarot reading. I do five separate spreads in my weekly reading. So I'll have a spread on new love, a separate spread on love in an existing relationship or marriage. I'll do an X spread. We'll talk about your work, your business and your finances. And we'll see what you're not expecting to happen this week. Please like, subscribe and share this video to support this channel. This first spread is a new love this week. We have the Ten of Swords, clarified by the Four of Cups. We have the Page of Pentacles, clarified by the King of Cups. Uh, we have the Queen of Cups <laughs> in the potential outcome. We have the Ace of Cups with the Ten of Pentacles and the Six of Wands. And we also have the Lovers on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Gemini or a Water Sign, Cancer, Scorpio or Pisces or pretty much any Zodiac sign. This is a general reading. It's an interesting reading, Capricorn. Right? For some of you, if you'll be dealing with two different people this week, two different suitors, then you'll be cutting one of them out and uh, moving forward with uh, the, uh, the second one. Right, Because the second one is your true love partner, your lifetime partner as a matter of fact. For others of you, and that's going to be a, a much smaller percentage, um, you'll be dealing with just one person and um, like the two of you will get together, go on a couple of dates, but then you will find out something about them, something that is unacceptable to you, something like a deal breaker for you, and uh, you'll tell them, no, 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 you know, if you do, if you continue doing this, I can't be with you, and uh, they will stop doing whatever it is that didn't get a line, in line with uh, uh, with you, they'll stop it for you. And uh, that could be anything. That could be smoking, you know, drinking, gambling, something that is, like I said, unacceptable to you. So they're doing it just so to be with you. They're stopping it. They're quitting it. I hope that makes sense, <laughs> right? So the Ten of Swords, the first card that came out is clarified by the Four of Cups. The Ten of Swords is a card of an ending, an abrupt ending, right? And uh, like I said, for some of you, if you're dealing with two different people, you're ending one connection because uh, the other person is uh, is your true love partner or the Ten of Swords could be coming from uh, the person you're dealing with, right? The Four of Cups clarifying the Ten of Swords is a card of a rejection or somebody who says I'm not gonna do something anymore, right? So for some of you, like I said, they're quitting drinking, they're quitting smoking, they're perhaps they're doing something else for pleasure Right, then you're going to tell them, you know what, no, 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 I can't be with somebody who does that. And they're going to be, all right, I'm going to stop it. Um, so, yeah, we also have the lovers on the bottom of the deck, all, all the way to your right. The lovers is the personal Gemini card, but it's also a card of a choice. So this is either you choosing between two different people, you're choosing this King of Cups, or this is them choosing to quit, to stop doing whatever it was they were doing that you didn't like. That was a deal breaker for you. The Lovers, besides that, is also a card of a soulmate connection. The Lovers is also a twin flame uh, connection, if you believe in twin flames. And the Lovers could simply be the love of your life. Um, so here comes the Page of Pentacles right next to the Ten of Swords, which is clarified by the King of Cups. So I believe that's the person coming in. We do have a true love couple with the King and the Queen of Cups. So this person could be any zodiac sign. For some of you, it could be a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, right? And they're coming in with the Page of Pentacles. To me personally, the Page of Pentacles is the most serious page out of all four pages. Yeah, this is them still taking you out. This is them still, you know, doing all those nice things to you, giving you compliments. Um, you know, being super nice to you, but at the same time, the Page of Pentacles always talks about long term, right? Uh, the Page of Pentacles is also something tangible, something you can touch, so they may give you a gift <laughs> in a basket, in a jar, <laughs> in an envelope, I don't know. You can always leave me a comment and let me know what's in that box. All right, so yeah. And then we got the Queen of Cups. I would just assume that's you for the reading's sake, right? So we do have a true love couple. <laughs> here. A lovey-dovey, two lovebirds, right? The, the king and the queen of cups. Whenever this happens in the spread, that actually does mean that the two of you make a perfect couple. It's like uh, the two of you end each other's sentences and uh, it's pretty much an instant connection between the two of you, right? It's just that that ten of swords with the four of cups, whatever that situation was, that was the only thing that was stopping uh, the two of you from being together and uh, it's gonna come to an end. Right. Um, in the potential outcome, we have uh, the Ace of Cups with the Ten of Pentacles and the Six of Wands. That's an amazing potential outcome. The Ace of Cups 
is a love offer. It's always about genuine and authentic love, right? And I believe that it's going to be mutual very quickly, uh, very quickly mutual attraction and uh, a love confession coming from both of you. Then we have the Ten of Pentacles right there in the middle. The Ten of Pentacles is one of the commitment of marriage cards. It's a very solid, very grounded type of a deal. Goes very nicely together with the Page of Pentacles, right? Um, the Ten of Pentacles is uh, when people buy real estate together, they grow old together, you know, they have children together, if that, is still, if that is still an option for them. And the last guy that came out is the Six of Wands. First of all, the Six of Wands is a victory, right? So if you're dealing with two different people, this King of Cups is the one that's going to come on top. Um, the Six of Wands, um, you know, it could be them basically conquering or cutting out whatever you didn't like that we talked about in the beginning of this reading, right? So they're gonna come out and tell you, you know what, yeah, I put it aside, I'm no longer doing it, and you're like, oh, right, so now we can move forward. The Six of Wands back in the day used to be called the Proposal Card, right? And that goes even nicer together with the Ten of Pentacles and the Ace of Cups. So yeah, Capricorn, an interesting reading. Um, it, it may start a bit different from all of you with that Ten of Swords and the Four of Cups, but uh, the uh, potential is still out there. It's an amazing potential with the Ten, with the ten of Pentacles and uh, the Ace of Cups and uh, the Ten, I mean the Six of uh, Wands. And don't forget, you are a true love couple with the King and the Queen of Cups. Really happy for you, Capricorn. Congratulations. Capricorn, if you are already married or if you are in a relationship, this spread is for you. We have the Nine of Pentacles, we have uh, the Devil, we have the Seven of Pentacles, and we also have the Ten of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. Um, well, the Devil right there, the second card from the left, that would be your card. Uh, Capricorn, that's you, right? And uh, we have all Pentacles here. And uh, this spread could be about money in some shape or form, right? Or if uh, your significant other, if your boyfriend or your girlfriend is not with you this week, perhaps they're on a business trip right now or they're visiting with their family and they're away from you, you could just be all by yourself this week and uh, waiting for them to come back. If it's not about that, then this is definitely about some sort of a financial abundance, right? Because the Nine of Pentacles, the first card I came out, if we look at this from the financial perspective, if we look at this whole spread from the financial perspective, then you've got two of the best cards you can think of when it comes to finances. The Nine of Pentacles and uh, the Ten of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. The Nine of Pentacles is a card of somebody who is rich, <laughs> somebody who's got money in the bank, somebody who is sufficient, self-sufficient, independent, right? But I think it, come, it has to do with your family situation or with your uh, relationship situation, right? The Ten of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck is uh, financial abundance, right? And uh, the Seven of Pentacles right next to the deck, this is a card of waiting or perhaps this is also a card of analyzing, looking at options or looking at all those pentacles you already have in your possession and thinking about what uh, you want to do next. So yeah, like I said, these are two different uh, scenarios. So for some of you, if your person is away from you right now and uh, you're waiting for them to come back, for others of you, um, it has to do with the finances for your relationship or marriage. But things are looking good. These are, like I said, two amazing cards to have with the Nine of Pentacles and the Ten of Pentacles. Uh, the Devil, that would be your personal card again, and it's always a good sign to have your own card in your own reading. And the Seven of Pentacles, this is you're either waiting for some good news, or you already know that you are being awarded some money, or you already know that money is coming in, and um, you know, you're just waiting for it to happen. For others of you, you already have money in the bank, and now you're like weighing your options as to what you want to do with all that extra cash. You know, something along those lines. All right? Let's see if anybody comes back from the past for you, Capricorn, this week. Keep in mind, it could be somebody from a couple of months ago, a year ago, or a couple of years ago. So it doesn't have to be the most recent ex. We have the Emperor, clarified by the Five of Pentacles. We have the Five of Cups, clarified by Death. We have uh, the Ace of Swords, and we also have Judgment on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with um, Aries or uh, Scorpio. Or pretty much any Zodiac sign. So uh, the Emperor, the first guy that came out, is the person coming back. Um, and uh, the Emperor could play out in so many different ways. So you apply it as it uh, fits your story, <laughs> if it does fit your story. 
The Emperor is the person of Aries card, you could be dealing with an Aries. You could have been married to this person, because the Emperor often comes through as a husband or a significant other figure. Or the Emperor could have been a control freak, because the Emperor is somebody who is large and in charge and in control. Right? But um, you are no longer with this person, right? The Emperor is clarified by the Five of Pentacles. The Five of Pentacles is a card of somebody feeling miserable, somebody feeling left out in the cold. Right, so that's the way this person feels right now. Then we have the Five of uh, Cups, clarified by Death. Death is the personal Scorpio card. You could be dealing with a Scorpio. Um, or Death represents uh, the end of your connection, the end of your relationship or marriage at some point in the past. And the Five of Cups, that the Death card is clarifying, is all about grieving and regrets. So they're definitely grieving not having you in their life and uh, perhaps they regret all those things they did, right? Especially if they are a control freak or perhaps they'll say that they're no longer a control freak. But they do regret whatever happened between the two of you in the past, whatever brought down this connection. Uh, judgment on the bottom of the deck is a card of somebody coming back from the past. The Ace of Swords right next to the deck is, is a conversation uh, that they will want to have with you. The Ace of Swords is a very straightforward, very direct conversation. The Ace of Swords is the Ace of Truth, so some sort of truth could be coming out and uh, the truth could have been that they're um, regretting what they did to you, right? Or they are going to tell you they're still in love with you with the Ace of Swords and perhaps they will promise you that they'll uh, cut out all that negative stuff from their toxic behavior if they were, um, you know, showing some, uh, toxic behavior towards you. The Ace of Swords is also part of a brand new beginning, like wiping the slate clean. But I think Capricorn is going to be up to you what you want to do here. Um, but yeah, you will hear a few things from this person. They're, whatever this person says is going to be true with that Ace of Swords. So you'll, you can make your decision based on what they tell you. All right? Let's talk about your work, your business, and your finances, Capricorn, this week. We have the Eight of Swords, we have the Ten of Wands, we have the Fool, clarified by the Chariot, and we also have the Hangman on the bottom of the deck. This is either some sort of a breakthrough, or you're going on a trip, right? Perhaps you couldn't go on a trip, considering what's still going on in the world, but this um, week you finally can. Or perhaps, you know, things just weren't aligned between your business, between your company or another company or the company you work for and another company. So it took some time, but uh, you're going this week. And uh, for others of you, you're finally deciding to buy a vehicle, right? So yeah, there's definitely a forward movement in whatever situation you were in prior to this week. The hangman on the bottom of the deck, this is a situation that is stuck, that is not moving anywhere, this is a card of stagnation. The Eight of Swords, the first card I came out, is kind of similar to the hangman in this particular spread. This is a card of somebody who is stuck and trapped, somebody who can't move, somebody who is thinking and overthinking, right? Then we have the Ten of Wands in the middle. The Ten of Wands is a card of a burden, so this whole situation that was not moving forward was a big burden for you. You were like really frustrated with it but like I said this week there's going to be a breakthrough we have the fool clarified by the chariot the fool is uh, letting something go or actually moving forward with something right and uh, the chariot clarifying the fool is the personal cancer card you could be dealing with the cancer the chariot could be a car so you're buying a new car you're finally deciding on a new car or perhaps they just couldn't deliver a new car for you and you were waiting and you were being frustrated by it but this week they're finally giving you the car you wanted or the chariot is you're actually going someplace right on a business trip or something like that so yeah it's a good spread it's a breakthrough all right cool let's see what you're not expecting to happen capricorn this week we have the ten of swords we have the emperor we have the Five of Cups clarified by the Five of Wands, and we also have the Page of Cups on the bottom of the deck. This looks very similar to the X spread I did for you a few minutes ago. We, also, we have the Emperor here as well. Um, and uh, what you're not expecting is to hear from this person, from your X, right? So for some of you, the Emperor could have been an Aries, or the Emperor is your ex-husband, or the uh, Emperor is um, somebody who is or was a control freak. Right, so they do have a lot of regrets about what was happening, right? The Ten of Swords, the first card that came out, the, 
Uh, they could tell you that they're no longer a control freak. They can tell you that they've worked on themselves and uh, they're no longer going to be the way they used to be. The Ten of Swords could also be uh, the end of your relationship, the end of your marriage in the past. Um, uh, the Five of Cups right next to the Emperor is a card of regret. This is a card of grieving. The Five of Wands clarifying it. Uh, this is a card of uh, fighting, conflicts, you know, turbulence. So they do regret that. Um, and uh, the Page of Cups on the bottom of the deck all the way here. Right? This is a card of an apology coming from them. And I would just have to assume an offer to get back together. Right? Um, so again, just like I said, during the expert. It's going to be up to you, Capricorn, what you want to do here. 100% up to you. All right. So that's what I got for you for this reading. Capricorn, if this video resonates with you, please like it. Please also share and subscribe. And uh, other than that, Capricorn, have an amazing week. And there you have it. This was your tarot reading for this time period. I hope it resonated with you and helps you live a better life one way or the other. Thank you for watching, sharing and subscribing.